Some of you have asked that I do more videos covering 3D printing and just some of the prototypes that I've been working on and I thought that was a great suggestion and I briefly wanted to share a couple tips that I've been using just to minimize the amount of PLA that I print with when working on a new prototype. So this is a new quad design I've been working on. It's actually a two-piece design. Some of the requirements were that I wanted this to have less pieces than the previous version that I designed as well as making it easier to assemble. And when I get the build log complete and this guy in the air, I'll definitely be sharing all of that on Garage Pilots as well as posting the uh, design files on Thingiverse. But when working on a design like this, you could really do several iterations of it. And so in doing that, there's a lot of uh, PLA that you're using. So there are two main things that I do. One is that I print in low resolution just to see how everything is spaced out and you know how it looks and feels in my hands. Obviously that's the great thing about 3D printing. Now this part took about one hour and I used 10% infill. So with that it's obviously not going to be as durable or rigid but your print will be a lot faster and you'll use less PLA or whatever material you're printing with. And once the design is finalized I'll take that infill which you is just a setting in Makerware and I'll bump that up to probably around 75 percent and do the print at a higher resolution. Okay the other tip that I have is you can see there are these little tabs coming off of here and this is the other side of it and the goal is to have this just nicely snapped together a little bit of CA glue hold that firmly in place. So while you design something like this on the screen I'm using Rhino 3D these tabs look look good but you definitely want to make sure that they fit together. You could imagine printing this other half for about an hour using a bunch of PLA and coming to the realization that maybe your tabs are out of alignment or you know because of shrinkage of the PLA this thing may not fit perfectly together. What I do to overcome that is I just take a little section of the design out. You can see that's a little female end of the tab and I printed this before I pr printed this left half and just slid it on there to make sure that it fits so you can see that I used obviously a lot less PLA and the design fit nicely. Had to tweak it once or twice but got to a size that can ac accommodate snapping these two together. And one last tip that I have that I did prior to the design that you guys see here is this is five millimeters thick actually only printed at three millimeters just so I could get once again something that I could hold in my hands and, and verify that everything looks okay. So that obviously uses less PLA as well. And once again hopefully I'll have this design ready within the next week or two. Definitely be sharing all of that. If you guys have any tips or tricks related to some of the stuff you're doing and we'd love to hear them please share them in the comments below. And until next time thanks for watching.